hello interweb, my name is Hankern Games, and today I'm going to be bringing you my personal, of course, feelings on the company AMD. Now, people who know me on a personal level um, know that I'm not typically on the good side with AMD, and I'll explain why, but as I'm about to say, they're all completely personal reasons, just bad history, and just, like, favoring over intel, nothing actually, like, hard evidence, it's just something that, some things that I've run into in the past with the company, and just things that I feel like you should know before I go on saying, ugh, we're gonna be doing something with AMD, because it's not that I don't like their products, it's that the products that I've seen so far are horrible, and it's going to take a lot to put a good taste in my mouth. So what is this, I hear you asking? This is, well, my first graphics card. Let's talk about that. So in my eight some odd years of WASD, I've had three computers I've worked with. The first one was a Compaq, I think, something like that. Compaq HP, I don't exactly remember the brand name, but it had a um, AMD processor, and back when I was young, this is like third grade that we're talking about, um, I used to play Minecraft a lot, or I tried to play Minecraft on what I had. Minecraft had not yet come out for the PS3, the update was like 1.3 or even 2, or maybe not even in the 1 points yet, but um, that's I was trying to do it on that laptop, and the laptop had an AMD processor, so I actually went to my uncle, who was a, um, uh, like, he works at Intel, right, so I ask him what's up, like, how can I make the FPS better, and he kind of tells me, you can't do much, and that kind of bums me out, and then he lists, well, your processor's, um, not all that great, and he didn't know, he didn't know if it was AMD or Intel, and we figured out that it was AMD, and that kind of got me a little pissed off at AMD just to start. And then, a couple years later, I um, got a Intel, um, an Intel CPU PC, and it may have had a tiny NVIDIA graphics card in it. It was my mom's, actually, to begin with, so, um, I mean, you can expect what you expect out of, um... Uh, your parents' computer, but that one was bad too, um, even though it was Intel, but I was old enough now to kind of understand that I wasn't going to get anything good if I didn't put money into it, but back when I had my first one with the AMD processor, I didn't understand that, so it still kind of got me work up still to that day. And then one day, sorry, my neighbors are doing some yard work. Then one day, out of the blue, my um, grandpa got a new computer. And uh, he asked me if I wanted his old one. And I totally said yes, because it was that time where I was starting to get sick of the other PC I had. So I took it, and this was on the inside of it. It gave me an upgrade, but... It was still, like, the thing was, the thing why this, why this thing angered me a lot is because I had been waiting and waiting and waiting and hoping and hoping and hoping that once I got this new Intel CPU AMD GPU, that might have been part of the problem, but once I got this new um, AMD graphics processed rig, it just bombed everything except for like TF2 and like things like unturned. That was kind of the nail in the coffin for AMD for me and I know that's only two things but two things can go a long way when they've been stretched out over a time period of eight years. So I I don't know I, there's definitely still the possibility for me to get back into AMD not that I was ever in AM, into AMD and one other big reason why I'm not too much of a fan of AMD is because, like I said, my uncle works for Intel, and it's just like, 
I think you kind of know what I mean by my uncle works for Intel, this is AMD, they're rivals, but, I mean, who knows, maybe one day I'll review an AMD card that'll just blow my mind and I'll finally feel good about these things. But now I've built myself a fully gameable, gaming, gameable rig, and there's my motherboard, by the way, uh, with a GTX 980 Gaming 4G MSI, oh, oh, oh. and like I said, at the beginning, all of these things I have to say about AMD are completely my own opinion, my own experience. Some of you may have gone out, grabbed a AMD R9 290 swag, and just called it a day, and you've never had a problem a day in your life. Um, that wasn't me. I suffered for a very long time, and it's going to take a while for me to kind of forget about it. Like if you liked, um, subscribe if you want to see more videos about a kid complaining about computer hardware. Tell your friends, add to your favorites, and I'll see you next time.